The first thing to do is download the animation starter pack. It doesn't really have a prone forward animation in it, but I went ahead and converted one from Mixamo, and I will leave a link to download this one in the, in the description below. It didn't exactly convert right, because the animation's hands kind of looked weird, but it's good enough for placeholder, in my opinion. But anyways, to actually get the transfer these, because in the starter pack over here, all these animations are Unreal Engine 4 Manny. So you simply find the ones that you need, which are prone idle, stand to prone, and prone to stand. You just select all of them like this, or we'll control click them, and then right click, retarget animation asset, duplicate, and then select UE4 Manny to UE5 right here, and then hit retarget. And it should work like a charm. So next we want to make a blend space for the prone forward and prone idle. So right click, go to animation, and then go to blends or down here legacy and blend space 1D. And then go to SK mannequin. And then name this blend space underscore crawling and hit enter. And then open this up. So then drag in prone idle. And then prone forward. Prone idle up here on its value. Set this to zero. And prone forward on its value. Set this to about 25. And then up here on the smooth time right here. Set this to about 0.5. Just so it's a little bit smooth. Transitioning between the animations. A little bit smoother. And then the name right here. Set it to speed. And then save this. And then we can close out of all of this. And so now we have our blend space created. So now we can add the character input. So go to third person character, input, actions. Now I already have this added, input action prone. You just right click, go to input, input action, call it input action prone. And then inside here, you do nothing to it. You just save it. And then in the IMC default over here, you add a mapping like this. And then you search for the prone right there, add it. And then you can click this little keyboard right here and press the key you want and that will add the key bind to it and you can add multiple keys like that to one input action but just for the tutorial I'm just gonna have left control and then for the trigger down here I have it set to pressed so now I can save this and close out of this now we can head to the actual character blueprint so I'm going to use the third person character so go ahead and open this up. Inside of here, you should already be using the IMC default. So you can just simply come down here and search for input action prone. And I already have a Boolean created, but you want to create a Boolean. Click the little plus right here and just call it is prone and drag this Boolean out. Get is prone. Hold down B and left click for a branch and off of trigger, drag into that branch and off of true. I'm going to go set prone to false because that means we're standing up. And then I'm going to drag out the character movement component like this and do set movement mode. This will make sense in just a moment. I'm going to set it to none. And then off of this movement mode, I'm going to do a delay. You want your delay to be about 1.3 seconds. Because that's how long the transition animation is. The transition from proning to standing. Next you want to grab your character movement component again. And drag out and do set max walk speed. Like this. And my value on it is 500 I believe. If I come over here and search. Max walk. Yep 500. But set this to whatever value your default walk speed is. And then lastly, I just set the movement mode once again. So drag out another character movement and set movement mode like this and set it back to walking. And now you can basically copy all of this like that. Control C and paste it down here. Except this time on the false path is prone is going to be true. And then the max walk speed is going to be 100 or or 200 it's customizable and then we compile and save and that should be all we have to change in the character 
All right, so actually, real quick, I forgot one thing. On this jump right here, we have to do a check if we are proning. So drag out your is prone. Get is prone. Hold down B and left click for a branch. And then connect the triggered up. And then connect your is prone up. And you want to drag off of is false into jump. So that we only jump whenever we are not proning. And now we are done in the character blueprint. So just make sure you compile and save. So now if we close out of this, we can go third person. Or actually content. And go to characters, mannequins, animations, ABP Manny. And inside of here, your initialized animation up here will be like a character cast probably. So just make sure you switch this to your third person character. It shouldn't mess with any of the animations or anything. It should all still work. And then this variable right here as well, change this to third person character as well. And so now this little sequence pin right here, you just add pin. And then you drag off of this. Or well first you drag in your character. So you get character. And then you say get prone. Or get is prone. And then you promote right click and promote this to a variable. I already have it a variable over here. And you just set this value to that variable. And then you drag this pin down here and you connect it up. And you add a little reroute node like this. So it moves it out of the way for you. And then also down here, you may want to add a delay as well. And just do like a small value, like 0.05. This just gives like a little bit of buffer time. So the player can't just sit there and spam control. And it messes up the animation or something. So now just compile and save this. And so now once you have this all set up, we can now head to the actual animation graph. And then in here, we can go to locomotion. And then off of idle and walk slash run, you want to right click and do add state. And call this prone transition like that. And off of idle, drag to prone transition. Off of rock, walk run, drag to prone transition. And this value is going to be prone. So if the player presses prone, and same for this one, set it to prone as well. And then open up prone transition and do a and drag off of the result and do blend pose by bull right here. Blend poses by boolean. And then our boolean is going to be prone, but we're going to say not boolean because we want to inverse this. Because if we are prone, then we want to play the stand-up animation, if that makes sense. Now over here in your search assets, search for prone. And drag in prone to stand, and stand to prone. And now I may get this wrong, and I may have to come back and switch this. But I'm just going to take a wild guess and plug them in like that. Because it's just honestly easier to test it to see if it's backwards, and then come in here and switch it if it is. So then go back out to locomotion once you have that set up. Now the prone transition. To get back to idle or walk or run. You want to drag up here. And then this. Or drag up there on both of them first. And then this transition right here. Click it. And do. So this prone to stand right here. You right click and do get time remaining. And. The asset player right here should be prone to stand. If you click it, it should automatically highlight for you. And then you drag off of this and do less than. And the time is about 0.2. And then you plug this into there. And then you can simply copy this. And then over here for this other one, you can paste it in. And use this same exact setup for over here. Now compile and save. And so now that handle is the prone transition. So now we want to actually use our blend space after we've prone. So right click again and add state and call this prone like that. And then connect this to there. Connect that back to transition. And to transition down into prone, we want to go into here. And this time it's stand to prone because we are moving downwards. 
and then you want to do the same thing less than and it's the same value 0.2 and then you drag this into the can enter transition right there so now i have back to locomotion and then for our prone to prone transition go into here and then it can enter transition right here you want to grab prone get prone and you want to do is equal to false like that and then for the prone down here you want to open this up and this is where we're going to drag in our blend space crawling right here and then connect this up to the result and then in the ground speed right here grab this and use that as speed and then you can compile and save all right and so this i'm going to probably leave this here because the recording is getting pretty long and i'll just do a part two for this to handle collision and all that but for part one we can go ahead and test this out real quick all right so testing it out as you can see you can run around as normal now the animations are really weird i think it has to do with something with the prone forward and stuff but if i press control as you can see it plays the animation but then the legs are like bent and the animations are like super weird and messed up but as you can see i press control again it plays a stand-up animation i can run around as normal and while i'm proning i can't move my character at all and then like i said in part two i'll adjust the collision so you can actually crawl under stuff and whatnot and so yeah if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe for more and i will see you in the next one bye bye